Hi everyone and welcome to the video. My name is Ben from Benjamin of Tomes and I am here today to talk about Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. I am a keen lover of all things fantasy. It's my favourite genre in the YA world and this one does not disappoint. Just generally being a fan of fantasy, this is the book to read. Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian which released June 14th and it is a new fantasy all about bad assery magic kingdoms and basically in a world comparable to the size of Game of Thrones in the sense that it has so many different continents and worlds and mythology and all the stuff you really look for in a fantasy read. I recently read Ash Princess and ridiculously enjoyed it. I was in the worst reading slump you could possibly imagine, but thanks to this little beauty, I am finally out of it. If you're looking for a book which has detailed characters, world, which has a really interesting political system, and a book where you really are rooting for the main character, no matter what action she has to do to kind of get herself out of a pickle, this is about the Doja and she is living in a kingdom which was overrun by a not very nice group of people. Um, they actually killed her mother so she, not only is she trying to be this lapdog in this kingdom, she is constantly boiling inside because she is bowing and bending the knee to those who murdered her family and it, the story follows Theodosia finally having a way out and having to break some rules and hurt some people to get what she wants. What I loved about this is it was a really great build up to a new series. I loved the characters. Theodosia was so complex, so badass, confident, strong, but so realistic as well. She had a really clever mind. The way she thought out problems was so interesting to read. And in fact, it really reminded me of reading other books with really interesting characters, such as Frostblood by Ellie Blake and The Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. Two books that are definitely perfect. And if you enjoyed them, you would definitely like Ash Princess. Not only is there some swoon-worthy characters, characters in. My favourite part of this is the magic system, which is very quiet and understated at the beginning of the book, but magic basically revolves around these gems. And in this new kingdom, the gems, which once were very much looked upon as incredible and worshipped, were now used as part of jewellery and part of the fashion, which enhanced some of the user's or wearer's abilities, but realistically, they lend power for elemental control, and it's something that I absolutely loved finding out about. So if you really like interesting magic systems, this is the book to read. And for a second, can we just talk about this cover? I mean, I am obsessed with the cover, but because it's interactive, you can just pull it back and there's fire underneath this. I'm actually buzzing for the next book. I kind of need it now, Laura. So, um, I'm just waiting. A moment ago I mentioned it's kind of ties with Game of Thrones and that is because the world is very expansive and we do get to see a little bit of it in this book but I really feel that in the next one we are going to explore the world in ways which we couldn't even believe. And just a little hint and tip, the map kind of proves that point. It's a big map. Very detailed, very interesting, very explanatory. If you are looking for a read that is riddled with revenge, hope, magic, romance, mythology and action, this is definitely for you. I would recommend this to the moon and back. I'm so thankful this book got me out of my reading slump and I really, really can't wait for the next one. Although maybe I'm thinking reread this one because it was just that good. And for those who know me, I like to reread books. So don't forget to go and check out Ash Princess. I'm sure all the links are down below and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for having me and I will see you again very, very soon.